create each person's digital DNA. What is digital DNA? Yeah, the digital DNA is whatever a system can know about you. And this sounds in the beginning a little bit spooky, but it's honestly not because you're the only one that has access to this data. You're the one um, that can see this data, that can control the data, so it's maybe not that spooky. Um, it's spooky in the beginning maybe to see what the world knows about you. But why is time interval data so important for um, us to understand or to get somebody's person's digital DNA? Um, the reason for that is that time interval data is one of the ingredients to decode the digital DNA. And the reason for that is everything we do in our lives, every behavior is nothing else than an interval. You sitting here right now is an interval attached with a lot of data uh, to it. Um, and one simple example um, that I have, just imagine we know about a person that she's female, that her favorite artist is Beyonce, and that she's in the age group between 20 and 24. And now we see some intervals or some events that happens for her, and we align them in a, in, in the, in a, a, a line of, um, along the time. Then we get that she searched maybe for the next concert of Iron Maiden. Um, then she search, searches again for the next concert of Metallica. She, she searches for a specific flight to Minneapolis. She buys two tickets and she books a room um, with two flights. Uh, oh, she books a bundle, two flights in one room. Um, what a system can interfere if it's capable to align the data in the right way and to add the right semantics and inferences to the system, then it might be capable to say that it has a boyfriend. But as I mentioned, to do all that, one of the ingredients is that the system understands time, alignment of time, order of time, the temporal concepts. And so what I like always to say is that what we are doing at Brandify is um, we somehow are the NLP for the user behavior, and um, so we are not the natural language processing, we are the user behavior processing. And the time interval data is for us what um, maybe uh, not tokenizer, but maybe uh, a post tagger is for NLP. So it adds a lot of information to those different behaviors. It gives us meaning or understanding of those uh, time intervals. And this is why time interval is, is quite important. And I can only always tell everybody, if you have some data that's connected to time, never forget the time um, to look into. And especially not all the stuff that's connected to time. Vacations, holidays, um, what did the person before, what did, it, did they do we, we, um, after um, whatever they did, what's specific at, at this time, um, what's going on, stuff like this. Um, that's quite important because often we get results and we try to understand the results and we forgot to look at the time. And if you just would look at the time, it would be so obvious. The example that I said earlier, the 9-11, why did all airports have a huge drop um, when 9-11 happened? If I wouldn't tell the system that something bad happened right now, this, everything that's going on, every decision that the system makes is based on something that's not correct. And the same is for user behavior. If we try to predict user behavior, what we are trying to do at Brandify, then it's important to look at time and time interval data. Um, I don't know what time it is.